Alright, so what is up guys? So today I'm going to be showing you some different tips on how to make a really great Discord server. To starting off if your server is new and you like want to grow it or get it set up and stuff. That's what I'm going to be showing you in today's video. Um, if you enjoy, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and leave your feedback down in the comments. Join the Discord if you have any questions based on how something works or how to set something up. But I think this video will help any beginners who have never set up a Discord server before or just want to know if their Discord is set up correctly. So I hope you enjoyed the video. <clears throat> okay. So yeah, this is what your server will look like by the time this video is over. I might split this into multiple parts because this is going to be a really long video. So, but yeah. So we'll start off, um, you just want to make a new server. Um, just call it whatever. I'm just going to call this test. Test server. You can add an icon if you got one. If you don't, you don't. Uh, and then it'll show up at the top of your server list. So we can go over roles first. Um, there will be timestamps in the description below. Um, so yeah. So of course, for roles, you know you want owner. You got to give it a color. So like these these all depend on what you want. You can do admin. I'm actually gonna have a template in the description below if you just want to use a template, you know, and don't want to set all this up. So yeah, admin, and then if you got a moderator, use moderator. Bam, bam, and then verified because i'm going to show you how to make everyone verify in your discord the template will have all the permissions set up for you you want all of these to display an owner really won't need any permissions as you're the server owner but if somebody else is the owner of the server you will tick off administrator same for admin and then for mods if you really want your mods to be able to do everything then go for it but i warn you this permission is dangerous to grant because bots will not do, bots won't care about a role with this permission so like if somebody nukes your server with this permission well you're screwed so I will show you at the end of the video how to protect your server so yeah once you're done you just click save so that's roles um you can have a bunch of different roles from reaction roles to special roles like VIP stuff like that and stuff but yeah as I said template will be in the description below if you do not want to end up setting all this up I'm not gonna call you lazy but you know just in case you don't want to so we're going to move on to um channels so yeah so for channels you can just keep the general or delete it what I like to do is when I make the server is just delete everything because what you're going to end up doing is you're going to create a category that's called welcome. I'm going to show you. So yeah, you're going to create a category called welcome. And then you're going to go into settings. And you're going to do this for every category that you want the users not to see when they verify. So view channels X. And then you go to verify. Make sure view channels is ticked as yes. And then if you want them to send messages, do that. But this is a welcome channel, so yeah, I don't really want them to send messages. And then, you know, there's tons of other roles and stuff that you can add. Or, I mean, tons of other channels that you can add. It really depends on your preference. It really does depend on your preference. So, yeah. But, yeah. Um, now I'm going to show you what how to get like cool emojis and stuff. So, yeah, as you can see here, Discord. So what you want to do is you want to go to, well, if you're on like a like Chromebook or something and you want emojis, you can go to Emojipedia. Yeah. Emojipedia. And you click this and it'll be there. Yeah. And then just click reject all or accept all, whatever works for you. You can get emojis from here, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to be getting them just from the Windows keyboard. So what you want to do is you can go here, you can edit category, and then you can click, you can add some cool like borders if you go here. Um, if you want like dots, there's a dot and then space it out. And then if you want emojis, you can just type whatever emoji you want. So like if I want a wave, I will type a wave and it'll be right there. You can choose the shades so like if you want a dark one, but I usually just use the yellow ones and then welcome. So yeah. 
Um, but for the channels, it's really your preference. If it's a community server, you want a bunch of channels to talk in. If it is a advertising server, like mine over here, um, you want a bunch of channels for advertising. And by the way, I will have all of my servers linked in the description if you want to join some of them. My advertising server can be for growing your server as it's starting. But yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you some channels that I would recommend if you have a community server so you'll be welcome. And then instead of having to, you know, like copy this again like to get the symbol again just copy it and then create the category and then actually from here just click private category paste this in add a different emoji so like if i wanted a megaphone there's a megaphone and then if i wanted important then next and it's going to ask you which roles do you want to see you're going to select verified and then it'll be right there and then like once you go to permissions it's right there and it's already done for you so essentially what you did when you made the welcome channel don't do that do what i did to make the important channel and then from there you know you can make your server the way you want and then like i'm going to show you another one so like um so do, 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 do. if you were making an advertising or like a like an advertising server, I will show you some channels I recommend you have. And if you have an advertising server, I recommend you have a staff server, which will look like this. Um, I'll also have a staff server template in the description below. Because I know people don't want to spend time making crap like that. But yeah, um, that's going to end the session sessions channels portion of this video. So um, we're gonna move on to the next section, which is um. Well, actually, no, we're not. We're not done yet. I'm just gonna edit that part out. Um, you want. So it's gonna add these weird dashes, just do this. And then like for this, I I would use a different um a different like border thing. So like go through here, go to like general punctuation, and find what suits you. Um you can add a check mark and an X right there. Um Yeah, but there's a bunch of different stuff that you can choose from. So yeah. You can use these. You can use these, so like it would be like emoji here, so like this, so like welcome, and welcome, and welcome, and then yeah, you would you wouldn't need to select private channel because once you make this, it will be, it will.
No, no, I did not mean to invite Piggy. Okay, well, we're here now, so yeah, just close out of this if you actually want to click invite. Now, there's all this stuff to Carlbot that you can do. From voicing to suggestions. Suggestions is really nice. Um, I also like auto feeds. Like it will post certain messages. And <clears throat> stuff like that. All of these I will explain. Log in with Discord. Man, there's templates they have so just do a text command and then action bot responds with bot gives rolls well, so yeah they made a lot more sub premium so you know what i i don't recommend using v6 never mind do not use v6 there's way too much pay to win stuff in there or, yeah there's way too much stuff that you have to pay for in there another bot that we're going to go over is sapphire so yeah and go to Sapphire's website, and then it's gonna probably have a login button. Mine says dashboard, yeah, or just click dashboard. Let's say login with Discord, login with Discord, and then click authorize. And then again, it'll take you to the website. It's gonna load, it's gonna ask you which server you want. Again, you're gonna scroll down, find your server. It's gonna have a picture if you have a picture, if not, it won't. And then again, this, this, and then click this, click authorize. You guys get what I'm going with at this point. So yeah, it's going to load and then it's going to add it. So you have all these different options. Um, yeah, you have a bunch of stuff you can do with Sapphire. But I mainly use it for um, these cool embeds like this. They're not like not that channel this channel I'll show you how to do all of this and then yeah you can add links to different things you can add reaction rules I will show you guys all how to do this so yeah um another bot if you really like want people to be able to be support um you can get the tickets bot at tickets.xyz or no sorry Ticket spot Discord. Sorry, I don't know the bot's website. Tickets. Sorry, it's tickets. Ticketsbot.net, and then it'll say invite tickets to your server. 
select the server, find your server, test server, boom, boom, and then boom. And then there you go. Tickets is now on your server. It's probably going to send you a message saying thanks for adding me and whatever, because it does that. Um, so yeah. Those are all the bots that I recommend you have in your server. Um, you can also, you know, if you want a custom bot, you can join my design server in the description below. It's like a sales server. You can buy bots that we make for you and stuff. But yeah, um, that's the end of all the bots that I recommend you have. And um, yeah, now we are going to move on to some things that bots have. Like some different things to do with discord bots so and we're gonna move over to that right now so actually i found one more bot that um if you like um templates um you just add it to your server um it's a bot that will implement templates for you. So like if you already have a server main, you just have members, but you want to make a new template. You will log in. Click authorize. Click templates and then search for click templates and search. Click the community tab. And then there's a bunch of templates on here like this one. Like this one has everything you need from role claim to announcements to change log to all of this. So yeah, this is what I what else I wanted to bring up is this because literally this is a great website to find templates. And then what you'll do is when first you'll invite the bot and then you'll find your server. It'll it's in servers are in alphabetical order when you invite them. So yeah. When they're listed, they're in alphabetical order. You'll invite the bot, and then it's going to invite, and then you're going to copy this, and then give the bot, move the bot's role all the way up. I'm not going to do this because I don't want to destroy the server, because I already made all these roles, and I don't want to have to set them up manually. Move it to the top, click Save Changes. And then it will save and then what you'll do you'll copy and paste this you'll click template load where it says name or id right here right right here right there and what you'll do is you'll paste it remove all of this and then paste it and it's going to ask you what you want to do I want it to delete these, delete these, do this, do this, do this I don't want it to do anything so I'm going to tell it I don't want it to do anything <laughs> and bam and then yeah And then, yeah, you'd click confirm and it would do everything. I'm going to click cancel. So, yeah. And then it'll add the server for you. So, like, from the template, you just make the server. You won't have to worry about the Xenon thing, but if you find a better server than mine, you can do that. And now, the most important bot I'm going to show you is this bot named Wick. It is a anti-nuke bot. Um, and as I said, all these websites will be in the description. They... They just revamped their website, so it looks like this now. A little bit more fancier and stuff. So, yeah. So what you'll do, you'll click, well, you won't click dashboard first. You'll click invite. It'll ask to invite the bot. Actually, well, you, you can do either one. You can invite it or go to the dashboard first. Then click authorize. It's going to grab your servers. And then you find your server. It's going to find all the servers that this, and then these are all the servers that Wick is in. So then what you do is you go here, or not here. Um, you do actually click the invite thing, 
So go back to go to the home page of Wix. Remove the dashboard piece in the website and just do wickbot.com and then click invite. And then, well, the invite link will be in the description as well. I'm going to have every link that is shown up here in the description. And then all it needs is administrator because that's all a bot needs because the administrator, as you people, if you don't know, gives permissions to everybody. And then, yeah, once you add it, it takes you to the dashboard automatically. So yeah, how long have we been recording? Twenty-seven minutes. Okay. So now it's gonna it's gonna give you a little like bar here with a percentages of how good your server is. Yeah. So yeah, this is kind of like how they did it. Um, premium is like in this bold color. So like first you would go to overview. It's gonna tell you the server name, the ID, the members. And it's going to add notes. So like quick isn't placed high enough. Stuff like this. Look at these because these will be handy. So yeah, these. this is everything right here. Save. So what you want to do. Yeah, Wick is going to send you a message. Um, yeah. Usually it would send you a message like this with a QR code to tell you that if you lose access to Wick, that's what you can do. Um, so yeah, so what you want to do first is under every role that you want Wick to like auto mod and stuff, I would do it right under your role. So like go up here, or if you want, you can put it all the way at the top. Of course, under Xenon, or if Xenon's not in your server, like if you're done with Xenon, legit, just kick the bot. Just kick the bot. It's not. It's not needed. Once you're done with templates, you don't need it. And then what I would do is not make wick like be known that it's in the server like at the top here you can if you want i would add a separate role called bots and then just give that permission administrator and then give it to all the bots and place it like right under your um right under your verified role i mean right yeah right under your verified role and then give it to all the bots on the server Which for me it's easy because there's no members in here. So what I would do is set up your server first before advertising it and stuff. So yeah, that's that. And then now they all have the bot. They all have their own role now. They're all online because you don't want it to display. So moving back onto Wix dashboard, there's a settings button for everything. So you click on notes. It's gonna tell you Wix doesn't have a quarantine role. What you can do, like, and you can do this for Wick, is, like, just, just literally just do WX mesh mark setup, and then Wick will set everything up. Checking for permissions, it, it will do all of it. It'll make a log channel, a mod log, Wick logs, and stuff like that. And it does this in under 10 seconds. So, and then if you click WX, much more like X, this is like the static, so quarantine rule, main rule, all of this, all of this. Yeah. Extra owners is like people who WIC won't mess with, meth, meth, mess with. Trusted admins are people that, um, like if you said it, so a certain permission needs trusted admin. Yeah. With premium, by the way, you can have 10 of these, not five. So, yeah. I don't want premium because I don't bother playing it. So, and then obviously, what you want to do once Wick is done setting it up, as the website says, you want to move the quarantine role right under Wick, right under Wick, or else Wick will not work. Wick will not work. Your server, Wick will not work if it is not right under. If it is not right under, Wick will not work. It will not work. So, yeah, do that. And then always check the notes because it'll tell you. So then what I'm going to show you is how to set up your server as a community. So you would go to enable community. Um, verify the email this. You have to check all of these. Rules or guidelines channel rules. Community updates. Just... They'll create one for you. 
It'll be called moderator only. This, 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 and then finish that up. And then now you'll have all these fancy different things. Um, but yeah. You'll have all these fancy different things. You can set a description for your server. You can set up a welcome screen, which is this right here. You can do select a channel. So like mod long be like look at the logs. Mods only. So yeah, you can do that. And then click preview, it'll show you. Click preview, it'll give you a quick preview. And then do what the server is. So this server is about whatever. This server is for is for dot 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 stuff like that um but yeah this if you want to remove something just click remove i'm gonna remove this because i don't care for this premium membership is um yeah you need at least 500 members mem members members qualify it's a new discord feature that they added um yeah and then yeah everything moderation related is in here Rule screening, I don't think you need community for. No, you do need community. All of this you need community for. Or else the moderate mod logs thing won't show there. So for moderator only, it'll tell you this channel is set to receive Discord updates. Because it is going to be receiving Discord updates. So, back to Wix thing. So as you can see, it went up 80 to 85%. <clears throat> Just do everything that it recommends. So if it says your server verification level should be set to medium, go to moderation, go to safety setup, go to medium. And then ignore this because it's just like it's just there. Like if there's a certain person you don't want to do, bam. Mm. And then refresh the page, and that stuff should update 92%. So we're going to go to auto mod first. So the, web's, the website's a little better than when I looked at it. So use the auto timeouts for one minute, and then if it's, a, if it's caps, 11 minutes, whatever times you want. Heat settings. Is like if they're spamming and stuff like this member is still accumulating until it reaches 100% when the auto mod will trigger. And yeah, you can check the stuff. Set the current heat to zero after punishment. Make sure that is checked. Because if not, it'll stay at 100. And then if they do something wrong, it will go haywire. Use the auto lockdown module. Like if your server gets, if it detects your server needs to be locked down, WIC will do it. Strikes lockdown is coming soon. Join raid lockdown is coming soon. So Wick's not fully finished, but it is proven to stop nuking from happening in your server. So if the wrong person gets permissions, they can't like destroy the server. Whitelist, this is what you want to do. If you want someone to be whitelisted from invite links or spamming, you know, do the role channel webhooks, whatever. So, anti nuke, this is where you want to go. So, go to general, punish unauthorized admins, giving dangerous perms to other members. Tick this on, and then somebody could DM you if, like, say, you know, <clears throat> they get in trouble for doing stuff. And if you want roles to be whitelisted, so, like, yeah. If you want roles to be whitelisted, you have to paste a user's ID, so, like, say, me. If I wasn't the server owner, paste my ID, click add, it would add me, and then bam. Save it. And then, yeah. So you go to filters, and it'll ask you to monitor kicks and bans. And heat per action, depends on what you want. And then rule creations, yeah. All of these, make sure these are checked on, because if not, people will be able to do random things. Webhook creations is premium, but oh, yeah, this is all premium. But just if somebody starts using webhooks to spam ping people, just remove their permissions. And then, yeah, delete all the webhooks associated. And then make an announcement stating that 
you know, somebody used Warbucks to spam somebody. So, yeah. So, ver verification is what you really want. So, use the verification module. Verification targets will be everyone or suspicious members. If they fail, they will be, you know. They will stay unverified. You can do a wit capacha. You can do a website. Um, yeah. And then verification channel will be verify or rules if you want. Because it's going to get sent to their DMs anyway. And then all of these should already be ticked on. This is premium anyway, so it doesn't matter. This just changes what the WIC capacitor looks like. So yeah. And then click save. And usually, once you fully set it up, it'll DM them saying they need to go to rules and click something. So yeah. Now, join gate. Target accounts WIC deemed suspicious. Do this. If somebody has invite links in their username um kick them target accounts that are younger than specified frame i usually do minimum of seven days but i don't like doing this because um if my friend joins i just made discord he gets in trouble target accounts that have a username that match your list um this can be whatever you want um, yeah. Wildcard means you will look for it anywhere, so like if you want this curse word, then you just click add, and then if somebody has that word in there, it will ban them. And then no avatar if they have no profile picture, kick them, or ban them, or time them out, but I would ban them. Target accounts, target Discord unverified bots, added by any, don't do that. I mean, you can do that. Yeah, I would actually do that. And then just have somebody tell you what bot they want to invite. So yeah, and then just mark this as red. If you get a notification like that. And then just click this, go back to the dashboard. Find your server. And now, I'll show you miscellaneous, which is just Wix prefix and what it wants to do. Manify Wix replies, delete Wix auto message. Always enforce this. Just make sure everything's tagged. Main roles, you'll do. Verified. If verified has like permissions or something, sorry, somebody was missing me. But yeah, if it says this is a dangerous role, chances are it. Wick deems it has permissions that shouldn't that it shouldn't have, so I would just clear permissions. And then bam. So yeah. You would click verified as your main role. You could just set it through a command. I will show you how to do that. And then click save. And then moderation commands always DM members punished regardless of a DM parameter. Always delete the moderation. Hide the staff member responsible when DMing the punished member. I always hide that. Because that is ridiculous. And then auto moderation, just do all of these. And then save. If you want custom actions, you know, you can do that. And then permits. This is where you go to um, look at your extra owner. And as you can see, extra owners are immune to anything. Extra owners are immune to anything. And then you can have two moderators. And then, yeah, make sure people can manually verify members. Go to actions and click apply. And then click up accept and stuff like that. You can do this all on your own. I'm not going to go through the rest, but if you do have any questions on WIC, you can message me on in my Discord, which will be in the description below. Um, but now I am going to show you how to make a custom reaction rule for, or reaction, yeah, reaction rule for Carl. So we'll go back to 
carl.gg click your server go to reaction roles create reaction role and then click user id or you can do post embed so if it's gonna be like click me to verify and and unlock the server and then we'll do add emoji I usually do a check marker a thumbs up and then verify it but if you're using wick you won't need that so just if you're not using wick for verification but you don't have to you could just do this and then click create or er, you, you gotta select channel and go I'm sorry you click reaction you don't click reaction rules, you go to rules, click it, and then click create, and when you go to discord, it'll be right here, and then when you click it, you'll get the verified rule. So that is pretty much how you set up a custom reaction rule, kind of like that. Um, I have many in my server, and I'm actually going to be doing another video in depth. Let's see. I didn't go too in depth in this video on discord bots. I will in my um in my next video i will be going way more in depth on um, discord bots so if you really have any questions then i can show you but um anyways that's going to be the end of this section of the video now we're going to move on to um advertising so like i'm going to show you how to grow your server and ways that i use to grow my server so hopefully you are ready for this um, but yeah, again, if you have any, any questions whatsoever, bring them into the Discord. And bring them into my DMs, and I will answer them. I will 1000% answer them when I can. So, next we're going to move on to yeah, yeah, yeah. How to advertise your server. So first you want like a server advertisement. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, right here if you go to my advertising server. And then our advertisement. This is what our advertisement is. What you do is you make one. Then you join another advertising server. And you share it around. And you grow that way. You can also use listing websites. So like top.gg. And then you go to add Discord server. You click authorize. And then it will ask you the server you want to add to top.gg. Scroll through your servers. I'm going to actually add my community server because I don't have it on top.gg yet. So you click add to top.gg. It's going to ask you to invite the bot. Click you will invite the bot. Click this little button that says invite bot. It's going to take you to this page. Click continue. Click this. Click this. And then share your invite link. So go into your server settings go into invites right here and then copy and paste an invite link then bam this server join oops i opened roblox studio join space bars community to chat and make new friends i'm gonna close this real quick And search for categories so community should be one if it's not 
If it is, it will auto add. If not, it will tell you it's not one. And then English. Obviously, you can add your socials. So like, if I want my Twitter. Then you click add. Then you click YouTube. And then, yeah. I'm just going to real quick copy this. Copy link. Copy link. And bam. And then. Copy this and then add this. You don't have to do this. I just do this. And then you go to the next step, which is the confirmation. And then you click add server. And then it will tell you thanks for adding your server. You can share it on Twitter. You can go to the server page. And then now when you go to space discord. And then you click space. You type your server's name. Should show up in Discord servers. Or, sorry, if you actually just go here, profile, and then Discord servers, it'll be in here. This should be right there. And then, yeah, your socials will be there, your teams, stuff like that. That is one way. That's another way to grow your server. Um, there's many other listing sites out there. I just use Top the GDB because that's one of the most popular. Um, and there are tons and tons of auto partnership bots and like bump bots that will bump your server into other servers. And yeah. So hopefully this um, helps you just a little bit, you know, more in depth, make a really good server. And as I said, if you have any question, comments, questions, or concerns, bring them into the Discord. I am now going to generate a server template. And this link right here will be in the description below if you need it. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Um, if I have more to add, which I probably will, there will be another part. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, make sure to check out the Discord down in the description. I am trying to grow it as much as I can. But um, yeah, my name is Spacebar. Have a great night, and I will talk to you all later. Later, guys. Bye. Thanks for watching.